in this video, whew, I'm gonna be doing a wash and go, a stretched wash and go with my Rev Air. So I'm gonna start off with sectioning my hair. So this is just my leave-in, my conditioner tea that I make and that I sell. And I'm gonna just put this throughout my whole head. So <clears throat> I'm sectioning my hair the way that I cut it, sort of. So that U shape that I made to section my crown, I'm gonna like from now on continue to section my hair in that way to separate my crown because one thing I've learned is that you have to like treat your crown or treat my crown as its own section. Like its own head of hair basically. So that is what I'm doing. the leave-in conditioner to that the section to let it marinate move on to the next section and I'm gonna be doing the same thing just sectioning the way I cut it this is also good because it allows me to remember how I cut my hair so when I go to trim my hair in October one it already has sections like, because as you can see, my sections are kind of already ingrained. section sort of than I normally would do since my hair is getting longer. So I got this Red Bear water bottle that came with it. Here I'm gonna just spray it. Ooh! Use the Miel Testing Souffle. A little bit of that. The reason why I put so many hair products on my hair is they all do something different. So my light leave-in conditioner I like because it gives my hair some slip and a nice little base, a lot of moisture. The Miel, I like it's a, it's a thicker moisturizer. It also adds some slip, but I don't use that as much. My The, the conditioner I make, um, I could use more of because I make up, I make it versus buying a product that is typically more expensive for me. Look at this. Now I just take my butter. I try not to take so much. I always end up super oily. So just like a little bit. And then just like apply that to my hair, tangle again, and take my Kiki Curly Curling Custard, take a little bit of that. So the idea is that I use less product, like the expensive products, is like Kiki Curly is expensive, um, the Miel is expensive, my butter is, it can be expensive depending on what kind of oils I use. But my conditioner is probably the cheapest thing in here, so by using that, a lot of that gives me a lot of not, not to use, need to use so much of the other stuff. I'm just gonna shingle, you know, the regular, regular. Okay, so that's the back nape section.
Okay, I'm back. So my hair is about, I would say, 90% dry. I let it air dry for about an hour, and then I sat there with a dryer for about, I don't know, 15 minutes. Then it's about 90% dry. So I'm gonna try to use this right here. Here, this bill thing is heavy as hell. Yeah, I'm gonna try to use it. Hopefully, my hair isn't too wet still. I don't think it is. It's pretty dry. The ends are especially dry, so I think that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna start with section of my hair. Um, it's still kind of damp, so I'm just trying to be careful because you don't want to disturb the curls until it's on. The three suction on low heat. Oh, wait, is it plugged in? It's not even plugged in. <laughs> up the suction to like four and see what happens all right that was that's four and that was about 10 seconds i'm gonna just go quick and grab more up to seven because why not all right so that was about 10 seconds i'm gonna do it for another 10 seconds So this front is stretched out, but I just like recurled the bottom and let that dry like that. Oop. That is my stretch wash and go. It's still kind of damp. Um, the repair is not really gonna like dry 
drier for you. It will pull away some of the excess product I had, so that's nice. I just hope to see that it stays like this or stays stretched. Definitely feel like I stretched it more, but I was kind of scared and want to like ruin the curl pattern. So um, yeah, it's stretched. Like this part I'll separate later once it dries, but yeah, it's definitely stretched, but it's still kind of damp. I'd say like 95% dry now. Um, I just gotta hope that it stays like this and doesn't shrink. Um, but yeah, definitely gave it some elongation. I probably could have got more elongation, but I was kind of scared because it's my first time. I didn't want to get rid of too much depth curl definition. Um, but I think it looks pretty good and it's moving, has a lot of movement and it's really soft. So I actually really like it. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing this more often, I think. So yeah. So yeah, but and maybe you know as I get more comfortable, I'll be able to stretch it more. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.